welcome back to Backpacker Diaries. And I'm just finding some winter projects to keep me busy in preparation for backpacking season. And wanted to let you in on this project I'm starting here today, which is to build a sleeping platform in the back of my 2007 Subaru Forester. And you might think, how could a guy my size possibly fit back here? Well, I'll show you. If I pull forward, the front passenger seat and stick my cooler between the back seat folded flat and that front passenger seat, I can definitely fit in and sleep fully flat, even as a guy who's five foot nine and a half inches tall. I'm not really that experienced of a carpenter, but I know enough to measure twice and cut once. So let's see how I go. The first step will be measuring the containers that will slide underneath the platform. That way I'll know how tall I need to boost up the platform to fit those containers underneath. The whole goal being that I can sleep in the back without having to remove all my stuff. Obviously if I'm out in the wilderness, I don't want to be tempting the little critters with all sorts of food and toiletries and stuff sitting outside of my car. I've got this one big long plastic container here that measures about six and a half inches. I got these smaller containers here that are about the same depth, but they don't extend quite as long. They are just under seven inches with the lid on top. So if I can provide a seven inch clearance, should be fine to fit all my containers underneath. It's also worth pointing out that to extend my full body flat, it does require pulling forward the front seat and sliding that cooler in between the folded down back seat and the front seat, just like this. Obviously when it comes to having a platform in there, I'll need to make an extra accommodation of seven inches or so to boost it up a little further. I took some measurements of the back section of the Subaru and I'm starting to draw some lines. And I'm about to make some cuts on my improvised workbench here. First, I'll cut the platform that'll lay over the very back of the Subaru Forester. After cutting the platforms for both the back seat and the very back of the Subaru, now ready to screw on the legs. For the platform that is going to lay across the back seat, let's see how it all fits after I get these legs screwed in. My larger plastic drawer I was hoping to fit underneath this back seat platform so that's why I'm using this as a measure here to make sure that there's enough clearance. So after cutting my OSB into two separate pieces and also cutting 12 legs that are mostly 8 inches with the exception of these two legs which are 7 inches tall. I'm about ready to put it into the back and see how it fits now that I have most of the legs screwed on. It's worth pointing out also that in the case of the platform that will fit behind the seat, I did trim down the corners so that the contour of the door would be able to still close while having that back seat up and the platform placed behind it. So let's see how it fits. After some trial and error, I was able to get the back platform to fit. 
Let's see how the other platform fits together on top of the folded down back seat. My plan was to fit that longer plastic drawer underneath the platform on top of the back seat. So let's see how it fits. And getting a peek at the other side now, you can see that I'll need to find some sort of piece to fit on top of the cooler for where my head's gonna be. But I can cross that bridge when I come to it. And it looks like the platform is going to need to be removed or maybe slid back a little to get that cooler out. That's something else that could be improved about the design, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it. I had originally planned to put a hinge here in the middle, but I reckon that's gonna make it a little bit too heavy. This platform in front isn't gonna actually be short enough to fully fold onto the back anyway. I do like the fact that the front platform can be removed, flipped, and then stored right on top of that back platform, even with the back seat down and the back door closed. So it's not the cleanest or most fashionable fit, but it's functional. And the next step for me is to add just a couple more legs to provide some more support so it's not sort of bowing in the middle when I'm trying to sleep on top of it. The final step being to add a little bit of upholstery on top of the board so that when I have my inflatable mattress on top, it's not gonna be punctured by little splinters coming out of that OSB board. So I've got some fabric and some staples to carry out that stage and we'll see how I go. So after cutting my fabric, I stapled the fabric into place, and some of the staples even stayed put without bouncing off. So with both of these pieces upholstered now, I'm gonna fit it into the back of the car and see how it looks. All, not too shabby and just like that I have my own two-piece upholstered sleeping platform where I can store stuff underneath as you can see both of these plastic drawers slide out as well as the drawer on the side so somewhat shabby but not too shabby for someone who is clearly an amateur <laughs> when it comes to carpentry Found a parking spot in New York City Found a new guitar, don't she sound pretty Today's February 7th, 2018. I'm here near Goblin Valley State Park in Utah and got to test out my new sleeping platform last night for the first time and I'm pretty pleased with how it all worked out. As you could probably tell, I had to park at a bit of a incline because the sleeping platform ramps up towards the front seat a little bit. As far as the sleeping platform is concerned, I'd say it's a great success. And I look forward to hopefully using it more this summer. That's all for now. See you next time. This is my lucky, feels like my lucky day.